I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. My goal was 20 and I just hit 22 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm going to get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 is where we're going to cap it out. But how did I go? Hey guys, it's your big brother Emre here, ready to dive into another mind boggling topic today. Trust me. This one's going to be a wild ride. So I was surfing through the social media and stumbled on this jaw-dropping clip. You just watched it too, a woman casually bragging about her escapades with 22 men in just 10 days. Wow. Okay, let's dissect this. First off, hats off to her for achieving her goal. Well done, blondie, right? I mean, setting goals is important in life, although maybe not these kind of goals. But this brings us to a bigger question. Why are some women so promiscuous? What drives them into sleep with multiple partners in such a short span? Now, let's be clear. Women have every right to make their own choices about their bodies and their sexual activities. But choices come with consequences, especially when it comes to how men perceive them particularly high volume and who are looking for long-term partners. So hit that subscribe button gentlemen and let's get into the nitty grit to understand why some women engage in promiscuous behaviors. Why are some women promiscuous? Rebounding from a breakup. First up, rebounding. After a breakup, some people dive into a new experiences to distract themselves or to reclaim a sense of freedom and independence. The woman just got out of a relationship and it looks like she is using her holiday as a way to explore and maybe even get back at her ex. It's like, look what I can do now that I'm free. But often this is a temporary fix for deeper emotional pain. For example, imagine breaking up with someone and immediately going on a binge of adventures. It's exhilarating at first, but does it really heal the heart? Seeking validation and attention. Next validation. For some women, the attention that they get from multiple partners boosts their self-esteem. They might feel more desirable or empowered. However, this kind of validation is fleeting and can lead to a cycle where they constantly need more attention to feel good about themselves. It's like getting likes on social media. Each like gives you a little rush, but you always need more to keep that feeling going. Exploring sexuality and freedom. Then there's the desire to explore their sexuality. Some women embrace their sexual freedom and enjoy experimenting with different partners. It's a way of discovering what they like and don't like without being tied down. And while this can be empowering, it can also come with risks if not handled responsibly. Think of it like trying every flavor at an ice cream shop. Fun and adventurous, but sometimes you end up with a brain freeze. Peer pressure and social influence. Peer pressure plays a role too. In some social circle, promiscuity might be seen as cool or liberating. Women may feel pressure to keep up with friends and social expectations. This can lead them to make choices they wouldn't normally consider if not for the influence of others. Remember back in school where everyone was trying to be a cool kid, right? Some things never change even as adults. Some girls might even break up with their boyfriends to fit in with promiscuous social circle. Friends can have a huge impact on their choices, pushing them towards lifestyles that favor being single and promiscuous over having a steady partner. Lack of accountability and responsibility. Some women might not feel accountable for their actions. They think, I can do whatever I want without any consequences. But the truth is, every action has a reaction. High value men, especially those looking for a long-term partner may see this lack of responsibility as a red flag. It's like driving without ever thinking you'll get caught speeding sooner or later there are consequences. And remember, your reputation can quickly spread, especially with the social media. The world is getting smaller and it's harder to hide your actions. Emotional and psychological factors. Emotional issues can also lead to a promiscuous behavior. Women dealing with past trauma, low self-esteem or psychological problems might use sex as a coping mechanism. It's a way to feel in control or to feel a void, but it's not a healthy long-term solution. It's like trying to fix a broken heart with duct tape. It might hold for a bit, but 
is not a real fix. Rebellion against norms and expectations. Rebellion can be another factor. Some women act out against social or familial expectations by being promiscuous. It's their way of saying, I won't be confined by your rules. This defiance can be a form of self-expression or statement of independence. Imagine a teenager doing the exact opposite of what their parents says. It's a way of assert their own identity even if it's risky. Media and pop culture influence. Media and pop culture also play a significant role. Movies, TV shows and music often glamorize promiscuity. This portrayal can influence women to believe that having multiple partners is trendy or desirable even though it might not align with their true values. Think about all the shows that celebrate the player lifestyle. It's enticing but it's not always the whole story. Seeking new experiences and adventure. Some women are just thrill seekers. They crave new experiences and adventures and sleeping with different partners is a part of that. They are driven by the excitement of the new and the unknown much like an adrenaline junkie. It's like going on a roller coaster. The rush is exhilarating but it's not where you want to stay forever. Inability to form deep emotional bonds. Some women struggle to form deep emotional connections. Promiscuity can be very to avoid intimacy and vulnerability. They might be afraid of getting too close to someone, so they keep their relationship surface level. It's like skipping stones on a lake. Staying on the surface is safe, but you never get to explore the depths. So what's my advice, guys? So guys, what can we learn from this? First, remember that every person is different and not all women who are promiscuous are the same. However, it's crucial to recognize patterns that might indicate deeper issues or potential incompatibilities with your goals and values. High value men typically look for partners who align with their vision for the future, especially when it comes to building a family. They often value traits like accountability, responsibility, and the ability to form deep, meaningful bonds. Women who engage in promiscuous behavior may struggle with these aspects, making them less likely candidates for long-term commitment. But don't don't lose the hope. There are amazing women out there who are trustworthy, responsible, and ready to build a future with you. The key is to stay confident and selective. Don't settle for someone who doesn't meet your standards just because she's attractive or because you think you can't do better. You deserve a partner who respects you and shares your values. And remember, gentlemen, with great power comes great responsibility. Women, like men, have the power to choose their partners and their lifestyle. If they don't take responsibility for their actions, they risk losing their value in the eyes of men who are looking for serious relationships. If you're feeling uncertain and need some guidance on your dating journey, I am here to help. Visit KamaLifestyles.com for more tips and check out our digital products. And if you're ready for personalized coaching to navigate your dating life and find the right partner, I am your guy. Together we'll overcome any dating obstacles you face. So stay smart, keep it fun, and never settle for less than you deserve. As always, if you enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more dating tips and advice. Until next time, this is Emre, your big brother helping you to become the best version of yourself. See you next time.